Good morning. I'm officially loading my car for side hustle. I'm walking my dog, so I have something in each hand. But I'm giving a wave to the Dallas Vlogs and Lindsay T. I saw your channel info from the shout out on Fluffy No Mo's channel, and I really like what you got going on. I'm really into it. I'm into the prompt list. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm grabbing stuff to load. Uh, I'm gonna catch up on your questions. I'm not gonna probably sub post a question answered every day, but all the days I've missed so far, I'm gonna answer today in random places. Well, not too random. Probably a lot of them from my car. But, uh, so the first one was the wave. So there's my unofficial wave. <laughs> and the second question is what's your favorite summer activity? Don't look at my hair. I'm gonna go to side hustle. Okay, that's why it's all crazy looking. Uh, favorite summer activity? Well, being that I hate the heat, I have to really think about this one. Well, I gotta come back because I don't know. Okay, I decided. My favorite summer activity is I do enjoy like being able to, I don't have a specific, like it's not like, you know, oh, going to this or going to that, it's not that. Because I'm not much for the heat, but I do like the outdoor activities for, um, for the nightlife and nightlife meaning like, you know, Saranac Thursdays. I like that, I like the outdoor bands and things like that. But I also like the outdoor bands that are, that allow kids to come too, you know what I mean? Because I, I like to do as many things with my child as I can. And this is not really isn't isn't not an activity, but I love summer because my son is home from school. I love my boy being home because I'm aware of the precious time that you have as they're growing up, and then pretty soon they're gonna be like, you know, mom, who I can't be bothered, I'm busy. You know what I'm saying? So I try to cherish that time. No offense to moms who are celebrating, especially moms who are the mothers of multiple people. <laughs> I get <laughs> really where'd that door come from? Um, no, no, no. I, I get that, but I only have one, so I love it when he's home from school. So the summertime means every day he's home, and I love that. <sighs> I took a lot of breath. It's hot already. I'll be back later with another question. Okay. Prompt three is, what was your first job and how old were you? I was 15 and it was dishwashing slash working in the kitchen like prep help for a local restaurant that was called Orchard Hall. It was, you know, close enough to where if my parents weren't home in time from work, I could walk to get to, even though I hated doing that. Uh, but yeah, that was my first job and I... Uh, no offense to the restaurant, it's got nothing to do with the restaurant itself, but I hated it. And I hated it because, you know, back then it sounded like they provided rubber gloves. So you had to do everything by hand and you had to do, change the dishwashing water, you know, because they had a dishwasher, like one of those industrial ones, but you had to change it by putting your hand in. It was super hot and it was super disgusting, okay, because you had to pull like the strainer. And it was, you had, to, you had to dump it out and it was always full of food shit. And it was disgusting. And at the time, obviously I was 15, I was still in high school, but like, you know, wearing long fake nails was definitely the in thing at that time. And clearly, you know, I'm a nail polish lover. Clearly I had the fake nails back then. I don't now, but, uh, and they, it would just destroy my nails, destroy them. And so I hated it hated it so needless to say I did not work there long as soon as I turned 16 which was very shortly after starting to work there uh, I immediately got me a job in, a, in, in the retail area you know what I'm for that discount but yeah there you go there's the answer for day prompt three I'm gonna ask answer prompt four I'm driving to the gym by the way that I am like a half hour late to 
because I have a cleaning job I need to get to. Uh, prompt four is talk about something you miss. And number four kind of ties in with prompt two for me is I miss my boy being little, little, like the ages of one, you know, birth to about nine or 10. And it's not that I'm unhappy after the age of 10. I don't mean it like that. But I'm saying those young years where they wanted to cuddle with mom. You know, they still believed in certain, I don't want to say because God forbid some little kids sit in the background, but you know what I'm talking about. They still believed in holiday people and, you know, you could do the activities and I'll say like Halloween, Halloween. I live in New England, obviously upstate New York. So we get all four seasons, but new, you know, around Halloween, they, there's tons of activities to do, you know, Friday through Sunday that you could take your kids to. So, you know, they would dress up in different costumes, just fun night stuff to do with the little kids to get them excited for the holiday. I miss doing all that stuff. You know, obviously he's my boy, 16. He's not really into that kind of stuff. Now he's more into the adult thing. So we moved on and we do adult like activities. You know, we're going to be checking out, I think screen fest and things like that. But I miss, I miss the little, a little, little age. I miss my boy being little miss it um if i had had the opportunity to have more children i would have done so in a heartbeat heartbeat um it's being a mom is the best freaking thing in the world so i miss the young ages that's what i miss god did i just take this down to a sappy tone or what we gotta bring that back up i'll be back I still have a few more minutes, so I'm like, okay, let me let me answer a few more of these. I love these prompt questions. It's such a good idea. Such a good idea. Um, and Lori, fluffy no mo. This is actually something we should keep in mind for any future daily vlog specials we do. Like if we do Vlogtober, you know, or Inveda, or when we do Vlogmas, this is something we should consider. You know what I'm saying? Or if Dallas Vlogs gets more prompt lists, you know, we should be all, like, hooking up. Anyway, um, question five is, what did you want to be when you grew up? And I wanted to be a couple of things. Number one, I wanted to be a lead singer of a band, okay? I wanted to be a singer. But I also had the mindset of I wanted to be rich, too. And if I couldn't be uh, a superstar, like I think I, that, that I am, and I, and I still think that I am, uh, or celebrity, you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I wanted, it's so weird. <laughs> You're going to think I'm a weird, but like I knew as a kid that I wanted to be the boss of the household. So as a child, like you can ask my best friend because she'll be able to validate that I thought this way all the way back in the day that I was going to marry a very passive man so I could be the boss of everything. And just, just to give you a heads up, my father is not a passive man. So it's not like, and he's not, wait, that sounded wrong. He's not a, a bossy mean man either, but he's a man that will stand up for himself when he needs to type of person. It's, I definitely have my dad's personality, but he also wasn't the boss, you know, of everything. I didn't mean like that. My mom had a voice, but I was so hooked on wanting full control of being the boss of the house. All the rules were my rules. So I knew I wanted to marry a, a, a boy that I could be the boss of. So I could be the boss of all the decorating in the house. That was my main concern was I'm going to be the one decorating. So as a little kid, I'm like, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to be an accountant because I, I must have thought that accountants made a lot of money because that's that was the, the reasoning for being an accountant. I was going to be an accountant of a firm and I'm going to make lots of money. I'm going to be the boss of my house. I'm going to have kids, but I'm going to be the boss of decorating the bedrooms. And uh, yeah, that's that. And obviously none of those things happen. <laughs> none of those things happen. I'm 44. I've never been married. I do have a son, but he got to pick out 
the decor of his room. You know, I didn't control anything. I don't know what my deal was. I guess I was just a bossy, bossy pants when I was little. And I'm sure if you asked my younger sibling, he would confirm said bossiness. But yeah, there you go. There's an insight into my mind. Wow. The gym is packed. That's not a good thing. I'll talk to you later. I am back again. Sweating my butt off. So I just got done working out at the gym. Now I'm going to go to my side hustle. And I thought I would pop in for question six, I think. Are you a messy or clean person? Well, I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking since I always call things in my room to see if shit. And my room has stuff hanging on the walls, boxes. So I think you think that I'm going to say I'm a messy person, but the truth is I am not. Sadly, I live in a room with no storage because it's, I am not the owner of said place. And uh, it is my childhood bedroom that I'm in. I live in my father's home, pretty much on the second floor. But my furniture, the 90% of my actual life are in a storage unit a few miles away. So I have, my room serves as like the meeting ground. You know, my room becomes an area of to come in and watch TV, like the living room area-ish. I mean, we have a living room, but my room becomes the hoarding area. That's where my son comes in. That's where the dog wants to hang out. That's where my desk is. So like my bed and bedding gets folded up and picked up and like the, the bedding gets put up, folded up, 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 like up and away. Like I have stacks, boop, boop, boop of totes. My bedding goes on top of all those and my bed gets stood up all day long to open the space of the room. Um, it's not a permanent situation. It's a, it's a temporary, but it's where I live now. So I just have no storage. I'm over explaining it, but I guess it's because you now I am a very clean and organized person. And I guess that's probably why my room bothers me as much as it is because it's it's not living in my in my rules and my in the way I want things. It's what I can do right now, life. It's what I can do with the room right now. And it gets it gets messy, especially on the days I work and I'm just not there to do I no, I should reword that. It's not that I'm not there, but it's like I'm in a rush, I gotta go. So I'm like tossing stuff and gotta go. And then I've got somebody else in my stuff while I'm gone. You know, it's not the same thing as having your house separated into a bunch of rooms. It's not. And my room gets cluttered and it, it drives me crazy. So I am like daily picking up the room. Um, I look forward to the day that we are out of my father's house and into our own place again. And my uh, background environment would be completely different for you all. So no. I am actually a clean person, living in a clutter-filled shithole. <laughs> did, did that sound negative? No. That's the honest answer. And uh, I think naturally, I'm wondering if Lori Fluffy No More would agree with this, but if if one of your jobs is cleaning homes. Clearly, you must have a, a love or a desire to clean someone. Because that's not an, a profession that I think you just jump into. I think that you naturally have a knack for cleaning and organizing. I think that's my opinion. I think Lori, you are gonna agree with me on that, that Lori was probably, you know, a clean, neat person long before she started cleaning houses. You know, if we lived alone, our houses would be spectacular. But we got other people putting their hands in the mix, so, so things can get messy. But I think you know what I mean. Wow, that was a really long-winded answer, right? So, 
There you go. There's number seven. I'm off to go do my side hustle, which is cleaning. So you can see all my stuff. Do you like how my rubber glove is giving you the finger in the background? 